when we step back uh, for a second from our faith and, and kind of look at it as if we were never Christian or Catholic and look at the dynamic between God and us, so how, how our faith works, right? How, for example, in our faith, how do we get God's attention? Well, we have it constantly. How do we get favours from God? Now, we don't call them favours in, in Christianity or Catholicism. We call it grace. But how do we get God's help? Uh, it's relatively easy in, in that all you have to do really is ask. You know, we, we call it prayer. Um, and even like the kind of the liturgies that we have, from our perspective, they're they're relatively simple in that we don't have to actually, you know, sacrifice a person or sacrifice an animal or bring some sort of a major sacrificial offering, whatever that may be, you know, crops or who knows what. We don't actually have to bring God anything. You know what I mean? It's the way we receive grace in, in, in the Christian faith, in the Catholic Church, is it's, it's, really, it's really unfair almost. We get so little back for giving so little. You know, we give the smallest little amount and we get Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity in return. Or we get the forgiveness of our sins in return. Or we get uh, extreme unction, the, the, the last rites, this, this preparation for, you know, for meeting the Lord. We, we, we get in, what, what do we do for it? Nothing, really. We just sat there. All we have to do is open our hearts, you know? So our faith, it's so, God is so generous. God is so, so generous to us. And what he gives us is undeserved, really, but just, it just is the outpouring of love every time we approach the Lord. We get everything we need and more. We get as much as a soul can carry and more. You know, it's a, like a, an image I've used before. It's like going to Niagara Falls with a shot glass, you know, and it's, it's full, it's full, full, it's still overfull, over, full, overfull, overfull, it's overfull, over, it's like it's, it's way overfull. Like it's, before you even got there, the mist probably filled it. You know what I mean? So, uh, like, it, it, this is, that's grace. That's, that's, that's the Lord's generosity. Now, hopefully, as time goes on, our shot glass becomes a little bigger, you know, so maybe we can have a barrel. Uh, this is like, uh, our lady was, was still human, but she could contain, contain an awful lot more grace than us. So hopefully our glass gets bigger, but it full is full, <laughs> you know. So as we approach God, we get more than we need, always, <coughs> always. We get as much as we can carry. The, the limitation is always us, not him. Uh, over the weekend, uh, we, we've been doing a, a, a Theology of the Body course for the last couple of weekends, and the speaker last week mentioned something to, that, which I'd never, I'd never heard it phrased this way, but I, I, I quite liked it. Uh, he spoke about some of the differences between men and women, and one of them being that uh, men often, not always, but often, have what, what one could call um, an aggressive empathy, right? So the ch a child falls, and, uh, you know, the mom might say, oh, that, that's, that's, are you okay, okay, we're going to get you a, a bandage, or, you, you know, um, will we call the ambulance, or, um, <laughs> sorry. Of course, they wouldn't say that. But you know, are, you, are you okay? And sit down and take a rest, and we'll get you a cup of water, and um, you know, you're all right. Whereas <laughs> the father's much more likely to say, Did you break something? No. Man, <laughs> be all right. Like, you'll be all right. No, you'll be great. It's fine. It's a little bit of blood. It'll get your blast. You'll be fine. You know, uh, and, and as soon as he's, when the, the speaker described this, I thought, Mamma mia, that's me. <laughs> so often, like, I guess, because, because we're, we're, we're often, so engaged in this spiritual battle, you know, falls happen, sins happen. And my attitude is always, it has to be, okay, it happened, get back up. <laughs> get back up, go to confession, and let's move on. Do you know what I mean? You can't just sit there feeling sorry for yourself and kind of reminiscing about how it happened. Just get up, get up and move on. And that probably comes across in the way I, I live my priesthood, but it definitely comes across in the way I preach, I think. Uh, that it's, you know, <laughs> don't feel sorry for yourself. Get up, <laughs> get up and move on. Because we have to, otherwise we just stay stuck, you know? Or we stay very kind of introverted, like staring. I think, I think the, the, the term I heard in the States once is navel gazing, where you're just kind of, you're just kind of staring down, you're sort of going up, and it happened and I feel, I'm feeling bad and it didn't work out and I, I'm a sinner and I failed and so on and so forth. It's just navel gazing, like it's, it's staring down at ourselves rather than saying, okay, look, lift your gaze, look there upon the Lord, source of all grace, and get up and get on with it. Uh, now, uh, well, I'm not implying one is better than the other. I mean, I think, and that's actually what I wanted to focus on today, the other side of it, uh, which is 
what was it? What was the term? It wasn't um, compat nurturing empathy. Yes, they said women then have a tendency towards nurturing empathy, and that's kind of what I wanted to focus on today. Uh, that that side is necessary too. Uh, it's necessary for us in this whole spiritual battle, which is quite intense at the moment, and the darkness of everything that's going on outside, and the confusion, and so on and so forth. It's necessary also, I think, at times to simply rest our head on the Lord, to just simply rest with him, and to just experience that kind of you know, nurturing empathy as well, just the kind of the, it's all right. You know, just hold on. Uh, there are different times in our lives when we need to be told, look, stop feeling sorry for yourself, get on with it. And there are other times when we need to be told, it's okay. You, know, you just need a hug, you don't need advice. You know, you, we all know those people who, um, when, <laughs> when you need consolation, they give you advice. Like, I don't need advice. I actually, I know, I know what the solution is. I know, I, I, I know, I know what I have to do here. Okay, don't go telling me <laughs> I have to pray more. I know I have to pray more. All right. Uh, so often you just, you know what the solution is. So you don't need advice in a particular situation. You just need someone to say, "That must be tough. That must be difficult. How are you?" You know, and and that we do get from the Lord as well. So while the Lord, uh, on one hand, like he he is the one on the sidelines screaming at us in the best way possible, urging us on, encouraging us, you know, to, to, to get up and move on and, and, and keep going. And, you know, I'm right there with you. There are other occasions when uh, we just see this consolation. And that's why, isn't it absolutely incredible that the name for the Holy Spirit, one of his titles, is the paraclete, right, which means the consoler. So one of the persons of the Holy Trinity is called the consoler. Not, not the slave driver, not the coach, right? Uh, but the consoler. So when we approach God, when we, and the Holy Spirit is God, when we approach the Holy Spirit, God, we can receive just, just consolation. Not, we don't have to be kind of, you know, maybe they, those aren't necessarily the moments where we need kind of extra wisdom to understand the scripture of the day or whatever. Maybe you just need to simply sigh and experience that consoling embrace you know you don't need advice you just need consolation and so like we have all of this in you know it's, our faith is just so incredible like it's it's all there we have that too so we don't have to perform for god or look a certain way or act a certain way you know when we need encouragement he'll encourage us when we need a bit of a uh, reproof we need, we need giving out to we say in Ireland um, when we're giving out to he, he can do that too because that is at times what's actually best for us but when we need consolation the very same God will give it so he knows the needs of our hearts and gives us what we need and so when we read the or pray the prayer of the Our Father today as we heard in our gospel it's, it's so beautiful, that I'll just, I'm not going to talk much about it if there isn't time, but just the very heart of the very centre of it is the Eucharist. Give us this day our daily bread. And you may have noticed as well that, or maybe, maybe you haven't often when it comes to these kind of prayers, we're so used to saying them, we don't notice these things. Give us today our daily bread. Why is the word day and daily there twice? It's kind of redundant. One is redundant. You don't need both. I mean, give us today our daily bread. Give us our daily bread or give us today our bread, sufficient. Why give us today our daily bread? Interestingly and somewhat, these kind of things happen when it comes to translations. The, the second word there for daily is actually not so much, not so much uh, a period of time, our daily bread, but it's our super substantial bread, right? It's, yeah, it would be kind of awkward to have it in the Our Father translated that way, but that's, it, it's not talking about a, a period of time, you know, our monthly bread, our annual bread, our daily bread. No, it's, it's our super substantial bread. So give us today this supernatural help that we need. Give us today this supernatural grace, this supernatural carrying that we need through our difficulties, this supernatural consolation. Consolation. The Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Give us today that consolation that we need 
so that when we're, when we're tired from battling or when we've fallen or failed, that, Lord, we can come to you, our consolation, that you will bandage our wounds, that you will embrace us, encourage us, that you will be our strength, that you will be our daily bread in our daily battle. Amen.